Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Lieutenant Alenka with A. Gordon. Run of I. J.S. or team. Move. Time to get some attention. Fire is coordinated on Monovi team. We can't reach the Geth turrets. They're out of range. Something scrambled the target. We've got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off Man of I. They're calling sat strikes. Theodol, watch for comms stations. Alenko, do you see anything? to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Lieutenant Lanko and the Solarians to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside.
Okay, hold them. Fill those holes. Come on, Shepard. Make it soon. I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Nobody's going anywhere till I get some answers. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What do they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper. Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Commander. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they're so simple? I'm simple! Shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Everyone in this place is trying to kill me. 
Do I look like a soldier? I'm a neurospecialist, and this job isn't worth dying over. Or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him, and you don't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers, to control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't... But I'll never... Oh! on an Eden Prime.
This is not good. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's going to fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What, what cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us! They're here to wipe us out! Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape. Your doom. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Got trouble. Lay it on me, Joker. I love bad news. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This thing is fried. Orders, Commander? We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joker out.
target. Chanto, keep them here. Circle around them. Set and ready. Everybody get low and keep your heads down. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kira, he's dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold him as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. You keep that nuke safe.
you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! What the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that! We can handle ourselves! Go back and get Williams! Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Fight hard, Lieutenant. Die proud. Aye, aye, Commander. Diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power, even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find it. My mind is still my own. For now, 
but the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god, the pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. Conduit is key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? We had to leave him behind. Saren has to be stopped, at any cost. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. I'm sorry, Ash. I'd never leave you behind. I couldn't. You know that. I know, and I'm grateful. But Caden died because of me. Because of us. Ash. How far are you going to drive yourself? Are you trying to be a martyr? To redeem your grandfather's honor? That's not fair. What the public and the military did to him was unfair. But I don't want to lose you because of it. Aye, aye, Shepard. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! <laughs>
I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. We don't have a moment. Snap out of it. Tell me what you saw. It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The Conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The Conduit's on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a convoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn him about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. I hope you don't plan to cut us off like last time, Commander. What you discovered on Vermeer is too important. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Sovereign's the real problem here. The Reapers wiped out the Protheans. We're next. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Oh, looks like we lost the signal, Joker. Understood, Commander. 